guys i hope you're doing well today i'm <clears throat> so sorry i am uh currently stabilizing in terms of uh, of energy uh i only did one thing today i was late for it too and i'm i'm already like i'm already tired oh am i gonna be okay hello everyone i hope you're doing well today i am i am yuki wilson as you might know already did you know that did you? Did you know that? Hello? Hello, hello? Maybe? Maybe you knew that? Maybe not? Maybe not? Maybe? Perhaps? How are you doing guys today? I hope you're doing good. Hello, Wilson. Hello! I am Yuki Wilson, that's right. I enjoyed your part on the stream. I felt so bad that I got there late. For real though. I have you guys ever like um you have an alarm, right? And then you unironically wake up and then you have your phone on top of you or next to you in bed and then you're like, wait, what is my phone doing here? What the hell? Wait, what? How, how how did my phone get here? And you realize you turned off the alarm. Like, half asleep or something. It happens. I have never really done that before. Ever. Every day? What's the counter to that? Do I just, like, set more alarms? On reflex? Yeah, I, I didn't even know I did that. That was like shocking to me. I was like, wait, did I do this? I don't remember doing that. You put it in another room. I should put it like on my desk. Set like five alarms? Mm. I'll do that then. I'll start doing that. Alarms for every 30 minutes. Mm. I'll start doing that. Thank you, thank you so much for the shupa. Have a good one, Wilson. Thank you so much. No, you have a good one. No, you're breathtaking. Thank you very much for the shupa. Thank you, thank you so much. So kind. You have a good one. I hope you take really good care, okay? Thank you so much. So kind. So, so kind. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, oh well, um, it happens, I guess, uh, with the alarms, right? I'll remember to be uh, careful. Oh, hi, you, Willie the Weebs. Uh, hello, hello, thank you very much for the shupa. Thank, thank, thank you so much. The chat break? Oh, no, you're back. Oh, that was weird. Uh, chat died. Yeah, I saw that. You guys just stopped. I was like, wait, what's going on? Did I do something weird? We back. We are so back. Although you, you look very lovely today. Thank you very much. You think so? You think so? I slept for like five hours. Uh, and, um, you know, and uh, I have yet to take a shower today, which I will uh, later tonight. But all you think so? Really? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. You look cute as usual. Oh, thank you. I'm not stinky. I'm not stinky. Do you know how many times I... T okay. I've heard I'm weird for that. But I take a shower every day. Every single day I take a shower. Because... I don't feel comfortable if I don't take a shower for a day. 
I actually like don't feel comfortable. I feel like so stiff and dirty if I don't take a shower for a day. So I take a shower every single day. That's normal? Really? I, I heard it's like... I heard people tell me that, oh no, Wilson, you should not take a shower every day. You should take a shower like once every two days. That's normal? It's not common in other places. I will be honest, it's Americans that told me I was weird for that. But, you know... You know, I take a shower every single day. Do not do us like this? Well, listen, I'm just telling the truth that all my American friends told me I was weird for that, but anybody else told me, oh yeah, you're fine. You're good. You're good to go. You're, you're good to go. You're all good. Never listen to what Americans say. You know, I will listen to Americans for one thing and that's how to bake a nice little pumpkin pie. Did Americans create pumpkin pie? Let's see, actually. I'm actually so curious. Who created pumpkin pie? American. It's American. Pumpkin pie is American. You know what? That's like probably their best invention they've ever made. Unironically though, your faith pie is American? Of course it is. Wait, are pies, are pies American? Are pies American or British? Mm, I'm Googling it. Are pies American or British? Oh, it's British. Hmm. But they didn't make pumpkin pie, though, so it's okay. Isn't pie a universal thing? Well, yes and no, I think. But it seems like British people made pies, but Americans made pumpkin pie, which is the best pie. The most delicious pie. So therefore, therefore, you know what? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. There's an origin for everything. Exactly. Meat pie. Oh, meat pie is so good. Have you guys ever had meat pie? Also, so funny. Uh, anime talk stream and I'm talking about food. Um, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll stop talking about anything else about anime after that. No? So good. It's so good. Meat pie is so good. If you haven't tried it, I highly, highly recommend. You should definitely try. Meat pie for Christmas? Yes! Yes! You're right! For Christmas specifically, it's so good. Shower bonus, thank you very much for the shupa! Thank you, 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 thank yeah, I'll take a shower later. Thank you very much, though. Can you guys tell my coffee's kicking in like crazy right now? I, um... I had, um... My, uh... My s'mores coffee. My s'mores creamer coffee. And it's kicking in hard. I was drinking it while doing the... Um, the drawing thing on Vox's channel. And I was like... At first I was like... Hello, guys. I am Yuki Wilson. I'm so sorry for being late. And then, like... At the, very, at the very end, I was like, going crazy. Thank you much for the gifted. Wow, you guys are crazy today. Thank you so much. Shower, I hardly even know her. Thank you much for the gifted. You guys are crazy. Thank, thank you very much. Anyway, <clears throat> enough about coffee, enough about pies, enough about any of that. You guys know why we're here today? Do you know? You probably know, right? We're here for a very specific reason, you and I, on this special day. 
we talk about anime. That's right. That's what we're talking about today. And now, it's finally justified that I can talk about Hunter x Hunter for a long time today. And I don't have to um, feel bad about it. I can talk about as much as possible today and go into deep, deep, deep knowledge about Hunter x Hunter or any other anime for that matter. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, I've talked a lot about Hunter x Hunter. We can move on to uh, and talk about something else. However, I'll go back to it. Actually, never mind. You guys are asking questions already about Hunter x Hunter. Kirua or Gone? Kirua. Kirua. Uh, Gun is great, but Gun doesn't go through a lot of character development, minus the camera ant. But Kirua is the most character development, the most uh, interesting uh, personality. So I would say, uh, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I would say it's Kirua. However, camera ant, gone. I feel like Kirua was kind of robbed in camera ant. I'm not gonna lie. During Chimera Ant, Gon was like- Oh, sorry, Kirua was like just the caretaker of Gon. <laughs> that, that's what Kirua turned into. Um, he didn't really do anything other than just like worrying about Gon. That, that's basically uh, out of the Chimera Ant. Just, just Kirua like worrying for Gon and be like, Oh man, I hope Gon's gonna be okay. Oh my. And Gon is like, Huh. Okay. I understand everything now. That was the camera Anta. Iron Hunter Hunter went on permanent hiatus. Uh, as far as I'm aware, that's not true. Is that true? Uh. Is that true? Let me look it up. No. Uh, no, it seems like it's not. Do you guys know the website Hiatus? Uh, Hiatus Hiatus? Do you guys know about that one? The Hiatus chart? Do you guys know about that one? Go on there. I can't link it in chat for obvious reasons, but look up Hiatus, Hiatus, Hiatus X, Hiatus on Google or whatever. You'll know what I mean. Um, you'll you'll clearly see that it's not on Hiatus. Um, Hunter Hunter has been coming out consistently like each week or each month or whatever. So uh, no worries. No worries. It's been coming out. I must have misheard. Oh, you must have heard that it came back. Yeah. Um, yeah, Hunter x Hunter came back like late last year uh, or early this year. Um, it was announced that, uh, you know, the mangaka could draw again because uh, he couldn't draw because of his poor health, but he feels a lot better. So he came back. Yeah, yeah the manga came back. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Why is there a site for that? Hunter x Hunter fans are crazy. Okay. I can't, I can't show the chart on stream, but you guys see it on the website? You guys see it? If you're on there? Yeah? It's a lot of red, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, sir. It's a lot of red. Everything that's blue, that's um, an issue coming out for Hunter x Hunter. Last of it was on April. Was it? Was it? I guess they haven't updated it, the website. What? That's a lot of red. Mm. 
Is that true? Uh, it was announced that in December that the series will go on hiatus once more and will no longer be published weekly. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's no longer weekly, it's monthly now or something? That's what I heard. Uh, which is fine. So I guess it was true. Um, which is fine. Huh. So it's no longer weekly, it's gonna be like probably monthly, which is fine. Trust me. It's, it's actually okay. I'm actually not, not, not sad about that. As long as we're getting something, you know, that's what matters. It is continuing? Yeah, exactly. As long as it's like, getting somewhere, you know. Like, Hunter Hunter fans are like, I don't care. As long as something comes out, like, every few months, I'm okay with it. Because, um, you gotta remember that Hunter x Hunter was on hiatus for, like, five years? Four years? Something like that? Nothing for, like, three or four years. I forgot. It's been a while, but... So, Hunter x Hunter fans are like, I don't care. As long as I get something, like, every once in a while, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. It's Dunter Dunter. Was my first anime? Um, it was definitely D Grim Man. I, th I talked about it on stream. I'm not gonna say the story again because it's quite long, but I was a little baby and I watched the first episode of D Grim Man with my uncle, right? And then uh, I was like very young. I was like very, very young. And that episode is messed up if you've seen that. Or if you read the manga too. If you know, you know. It's messed up. It's, uh, as a child watching that, it was really messed up. Watching it. Ruh roll. Traumatized. Oh. Have you seen any Ghibli movies? Yeah, I've seen, um, Owl's Moving Castle, Princess Mononoke, um. What's the other one I watched? I watched another one. Um, I can't remember which, what it was called though. It was a while ago. But, those are probably my favorite. Spirited Away- Oh no, I watched, um, oh god, what's the one with the big cat? Oh my god, Mr. Blank, yeah. oh my god, it's been so long. Ah! Totoro, right, right, right. My neighbor Totoro, yeah, I watched that one. Those are the three ones I watched. And that's it. I watched, uh, I watched nothing else, so. Just those three. Girl of the Firefly, never watched? No. Just those three Ghibli movies, that's it. You know, rewatching Princess Mononoke, like, after playing Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom... Let's be real. Uh, wow. Breath of the Wild slash Tears of the Kingdom is like super heavily influenced by Princess Mononoke. It's not even funny. Have you guys ever like noticed that? The comparison between that? It's actually crazy. I thought the same too. Yeah, it's crazy. Bungo Stray Dogs? Yeah, I've watched Bungo Stray Dogs like uh, three seasons. That's it. I think it's three seasons anyway. Someone said uh, One Punch Man. Yeah, I've seen One Punch Man. Yeah. Both seasons. Mm. I do I do like One Punch Man a lot. Um, I've watched... Uh, um, speaking of One Punch Man, I've also watched... Um, what's it called? So sorry. Um, oh god. Um, Mob Psycho. So sorry, I, I don't know why I forgot Mob Psycho, but I did. Uh, I watched all three seasons for Mob Psycho as well. Uh, and I'll be honest, I prefer One Punch Man over Mob Psycho. Mob Psycho is great, but I prefer One Punch Man, personally. Which, both are great, by the way. Both are really, really good. But I slightly enjoy more One Punch Man. Um, and the way I describe it is basically... Mob Psycho has better characters 
as in like more interesting characters, more likable characters, but One Punch Man has a better world building. One Punch Man has a more interesting world. But yeah, that's the way I see it. I thought you prefer Mob? Oh no, uh, uh, I think One Punch Man is more interesting, but by like almost nothing, almost nothing at all. And that's right. Your favorite genre? I don't really have a favorite genre. Um, I feel like lately I've I've got attached to like darker anime. That's for like older people. Like they're called seinen, right? Or seinen. Um, stuff like uh, like in the past couple years, I've gotten into Berserk and Vinland Saga a lot. You know those types of like darker, like more serious types of anime. You know. I've gotten into that in the past couple years a lot. Like more, more serious, darker, or whatever. Dark anime, yeah, yeah. Rom-coms? Rom-coms are like my... My least watched genre, I would say. Actually, no, that's not true. Sports anime, I don't watch at all, but... Uh... The last rom-com I watched was Kaguya. And I, I'm pretty sure I'm on season 3. I didn't finish it yet, but... Kaguya's like the only rom-com I watched uh, in the past like five years or so. Yeah, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. And hey cute- nope, I don't watch a single sports anime. Not a single one. I never- I don't know, I never got into them. I'm not interested. You don't like sports anime? Well, it's it's more like I'm not interested. I'm sure they're good. Right? I'm not saying they're bad. I'm sure they're great, but it's more like... I can't get into them. I just can't. That's fair. Mmm, no. Understandable. Have you tried? Yeah, I watched like two episodes of free and I was like... <clears throat> An interesting opening, for sure. Uh... <laughs> it's me with Arams. <sighs> I watched like two... Aram anime, and I was like, this is... This is... This is very silly. This is very silly. Also... I cannot believe Vizalius casually like drops like etchy anime on main. I I cannot believe that. That was the most shocking thing for me. I known Vizalius for a while. I did not think that would happen. Uh Zally's valid. He did? Yeah, he casually drops like etchy, etchy anime on main. He's based? He is unpredictable. Unpredictable. Etchy has Which one? Dunter Dunter. You know which one Vizalia is? You know exactly which one. <laughs> that was so funny. It shocked me. It shocked me that he said that. But oh well. What is Dunter Dun- Okay, it's not actually called Dunter Dunter. It's- <clears throat> Chet said it. Chet is saying it. Chet is saying it. Chet is saying it. I don't need. I don't need to say it. Chet can say it. Chet is saying it for me. I don't need to say it. Not me. He's so insane for that. I can't. It's uh. 
It's very interesting. <laughs> he is based. Uh... Ah, it's crazy to think about. I Google it. Uh, you know, uh, do uh, you know? It's <clears throat> it's very graphic. Okay, a very graphic anime. You better lock your door if you're watching that. You know, that's all I'm gonna say. Close your curtains and uh, lock your door. My dad, when I watch DBZ, doesn't come in. My dad, when I watch High School, high school DXD, comes in. <laughs> better lock your door. Graphic indeed. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> anyway, enough about that. Uh, going back to another topic. Um, another topic. Let's move on from that. Let's move on. Hey Wilson, hello. I watched three seasons of it, and I don't know how I did it. How? What? I watched like four episodes of it and I was like... Anyway... <clears throat> uh... Demon Slayer. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen Demon Slayer. I've seen like uh, the first season in the movie and that's it. I haven't watched anything else, but... Uh, I, I might at some point. Maybe? Watch more? After the movie, I don't know why- I don't know what happened. I lost motivation. Like, uh, I thought the movie was great though. The movie was really good. I, I loved the ending of the movie. It was actually really good. But uh, after the movie, I don't know why I I did not feel the need to keep watching. I don't know what happened. Uh, I'm not sure why, but yeah. I've seen Death Note. Yeah, I've seen Death Note like five times. I've watched Death Note like five times. Dub, sub, and the manga. I read the entire manga as well, um, as well as um, do you guys know like do you guys remember when they released like a a DLC? <laughs> do you guys remember that? A couple years ago, like uh, maybe four years ago, the bonus chapter DLC. Yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, it was a Death Note DLC. It's actually pretty good. It's like, um, it's directly, um, it's a sequel. It's actually a sequel. After what happens in the, um, in the manga. I don't watch it, Wilson, stop spoiling. I'm not spoiling! Uh, what? Wait, how am I spoiling? I, I didn't say anything at all. I just said... Death Note is a show I watched five times, and the sequel of the manga that came out four years ago or so is like what happens after. Huh. Is that spoiler? I didn't even say this. I didn't even say what Death Note was about. <laughs> He's not spoiling. Yeah. Guys, there's a Death Note in Death Note. I'm sorry. I had to break it to you. There's a Death Note. Death Note is about the Death Note. It's crazy. Well, I'm sorry. I had I had to spoil it. I'm sorry. I know. I'm 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 messed up for saying that. Yeah, Death Note has a Death Note in it. And there's potato chips too. Norway. What? No way! <laughs> For real! <gasps> what? I love Death Note very much. I feel like um, 
I can always go back to it. Death Note is the kind of an anime that I can- I feel my- I feel like I could always go back to it every couple years and watch it all over again. And you know what? It's still just as good as before. Except a certain episode where things change a lot, but anything at before then, it's so good. It's so good. Up until the you know what part that changes everything, but it's so good. Even after it's still good, but it's not as good, but it's still very good. Always rewatch it. Uh, but like five or six times I've watched it and it's still good. Anime you like the least? Uh, anime I like the least. Am I making enemies today? I might make enemies today. Um, so something I've watched and I legitimately think it's bad. Try to think of one. Okay. Well, mm, I've never watched something and I was like, this is really, really bad. Ah, uh, ninety percent of the time I've watched something and I was like, this is just not for me. Right? Like most of the time, yeah, I I've watched something and I was like, this is just not for me. It's not bad. It's just not for me. I remember a couple years ago, a couple years ago, I had friends of mine like tell me like, Oh Wilson, you should you should watch Data Live and I was like, Oh, really? Yeah, you should totally watch it. I was like, okay. I watched it and I was like, this is not This is not for me. <laughs> I was like, this is This is <clears throat> It's just not for me. I can't do it. I can't do it. I was like, this is, this is, this is not. Yeah. I was not meant to watch that at all. But I don't think it's, <clears throat> I, I, I don't think it's that, bad, bad. <clears throat> you know, it's just, it's just not for me. Kind of thing. Thank you much. Thank you much for the membership. Thank you so much. Uh, very, very kind. Uh, yeah. Mm. Anyway, someone said ReZero earlier. I am a big ReZero fan. I love ReZero. I've never watched the um, the what ifs that come out every year. Uh, I've never read the novel. I only watch the anime because I'm a filthy anime watcher only, but, uh, yeah. I love ReZero. It's really good. I, I am excited to watch season three. I loved season one so, so, so much. I watched season one three times. Back in 2016, when it came out, I watched it three times. I thought it was that good. I wanted to rewatch it in the same year. That's so good. Me too. I feel like ReZero excels at like emotions. I know it's silly, but to say that like that, but ReZero's really good at setting up emotional scenes. You know? I, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it in terms of like, wow, like this is hitting me hard watching this. You know, I've, I've very, very, very rarely cried watching anime, like very rarely, like maybe twice ever. And one of them is ReZero. I talked about it before, what scene specifically, without spoiling, of course, but it's, uh, it's really messed up. What's the other? Um, oh my God. Uh, I watched that like. 10 years ago, more than that. Oh my god. What am I thinking of? Oh my god. It's so hard to describe without spoiling. Da 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 da. 
ダラダラダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダダ You know what I'm talking about? I forgot the title. I watched it so long ago. Is it Clan? I don't think it's Clanad. Angel Beats. There it is. I watched that like over 10 years ago. I'm glad you guys knew just by me、uh, doing the opening. <laughs> The power of openings are pretty crazy. Yeah, I'd say Angel Beats is the only one other one that made me cry. But other than that, like, I've never really, really cried watching something. Only Reezer on that one. Yeah, what a throwback, huh? What a throwback. Hmm. Favorite anime opening?、Mm, like, I feel like it changes every once in a while. But. Ah,、uh, who am I kidding? I'm biased. It's Gurren Lagan. Gurren Lagan's opening. Unbeatable. Unbeatable. Who am I kidding? I am biased and I don't care. It's so good. Can you guys believe the, the lady that sings that opening sang the Olympics in Tokyo? Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? Yeah! I didn't know that. Yeah, she's like an avid Jotaro fangirl. Like, she's famously known for that. For doing the Gurren Lagan opening and being a crazy Jotaro fangirl. Like, crazy. That, that, that's, that's all I know. <laughs> Whoa! You know, I'm, I'm actually amazed I don't talk about JoJo too much on stream. I'd say I'm a pretty big JoJo fan, but I never really talk about JoJo. Oh, yeah, it's probably because JoJo fans like, only talk about one thing ever. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, but I I've learned to shut up about JoJo. <laughs>、um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. This is coming from a JoJo fan, okay? This is coming from a JoJo fan.、Um, my favorite JoJo part is part four. Diamond is unbreakable. And I know that one has been like, I've seen more hate, or not hate, but I've seen more judgmental people talk about part four lately. Like, more people being judgmental of it.、Um, if anything, I've heard more people say, like, oh yeah, part four is not that good because of blank, blank, and blank. And I can see why people don't like part four too much.、Um, it, the pacing in part four is. Pretty slow sometimes, especially like halfway through or a little bit before halfway through. Basically, like, again, not it's not a spoiler, I don't care. Before Kira shows up, I don't care, it's not a spoiler. I don't care. Everybody knows who Kira is. Um, before Kira shows up, I do agree the pacing is a little bit slow in part four, uh, but after Kira shows up. Insane. Insane. That's when things like get crazy good. After Kira shows up. Agree? Yeah. Kira kind of carries part four, I'll be honest. Yeah, not Kira from Death Note. Yeah. I would say Kira kind of carries part four. He's very good. He's, he's definitely the best,、um, the best villain in JoJo for sure, in my humble opinion. Do you like part five? Yeah, I love part five. Part five is great. My only,、um, my only problem with part five is、um, man, they did, they did a character dirty.、Um, And I'm so sorry, but I keep forgetting his name because he has no screen time. Oh my god, chat. I am having a crazy. Yeah, Cheese Boy. <laughs> Fugo. Yeah, they did. Fugo got like nothing. Like, it's actually insane to think. Like, whenever I think about part five, I think about like how 
Oh yeah, that's right. Fugo was there. Fugo's a thing. And he gets like no screen time. And from what I understand, he was supposed to... It's so hard to say without spoiling. Um, He was supposed to... Be a thing. But... He did not end up being that. It's so hard to say without spoiling. I actually like Fugo. He's interesting, but... Yeah, he gets like nothing. His whole purpose was to... Was to switch teams. <laughs> you know? His whole purpose was to switch teams, but... That didn't happen. So, he just... Kind of left. You know? It was weird. Also, I don't think it's a spoiler anymore, because you get like no screen time for Fugo anyway. So it's not a spoiler, I don't care. But, yeah. He was too overpowered. Yeah, his stand is very strong, isn't it? I think, um, I think Fugo's stand is like one of the scariest stands ever in JoJo. It is terrifying. Like, it's, it's busted. It's really busted. Some, you know what's another over overpowered stand in JoJo? But it's actually like, um, it's justified why the the stand user is not that strong. The hand, Okuyasu stand in part 4, you know the one that like, he, he does the pull when he swings his hand. That stand is actually OP. Like actually super super strong. Like, uh, that's a really good stand. Like it's amazingly good. Zahando. Yeah, it's so good. It's legitimately OP. But Okuyasu is so dumb <laughs> that he makes it he makes it not that good. Just because he's really dumb. But if someone smart had that stand, it would be legitimately unstoppable. It's so good. He's too he's too dumb dumb. If he was smarter, he would be crazy about it. That's honestly the funniest thing about it? I know! I know. It's actually such a good stand. Do you like Jujutsu Kaisen? I've never watched Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, and honestly... I don't know if I'll ever watch it. I've heard really good things about it. Like, everyone told me to watch it and I was like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I might watch it. Maybe. Perhaps. That's fair. I don't know. I I've heard so much about it. I was getting... Like... Maybe uh, I'm guilty of this, okay? And I understand people are also guilty of this. Do you guys know when, like... Something gets so popular... Like, really, 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 really fast... And you're like, you're so sick of hearing about it... That you don't even want to start uh, getting into it? Like, I, I don't mean like it's bad. I mean like, man, I'm... All I see everywhere is Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm sick of it. I don't even want to try it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not saying it's bad. It's probably really, really, really good. But it's like, man, shut up. <laughs> you know? I'm not saying it's bad, though. I'm, I'm sure it's really good. That was you with Chainsaw Man? I'm surprised you haven't talked about Chainsaw Man. I love Chainsaw Man. I never, I never read the manga, but when when Chainsaw Man was announced to become an anime, I know that like that blew up everything because apparently, like from what I remember, like people have been talking about Chainsaw Man for like years before the anime came out, and it was like really, really, really big and popular. So it was kind of crazy to think about, like, oh wow, th this thing I've heard so much about is getting an anime. For years. Yeah. I... From watching Chainsaw Man, the anime, right? I was, uh... I was told by a lot of friends, like, Oh yeah, Wilson, you're gonna love Chainsaw Man. I have a feeling you're gonna love it. And that was, like, from people that read the manga. Like, friends of mine that did read the manga, they were telling me, like, Oh, Wilson, you'll love Chainsaw Man. I know you very well, Wilson. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it a lot. I was like, oh, really? Really? And I watched it. Yeah, it's great. I love it. They were right. 
Manga is so much better. After I'm done with Hunter Hunter, I will read Chainsaw Man. Right after, right after Hunter Hunter, I'm caught up with it. I will read Chainsaw Man. I made up my mind. Mhm. Mm I will make sure to do that. Do you prefer sub or dub? Uh, depends. I've enjoyed both. Um, ninety percent of the time I will watch sub. Ten percent of the time I will watch dub. The only dub animes I've watched are. Death Note, which is great. I love the dub of Death Note. And Cowboy Bebop. As far as I'm aware, these are the only animes I've watched in dub. Oh no, that's not true. Um, Evangelion. I watched Evangelion in dub too. Dragon Ball, yep. Dragon Ball Z, yep. Film it out ah. I did start watching it in dub, yeah. I say start because I I need to finish Brotherhood. I I I watched the original FMA and I watched um uh, sorry, I watched the original FMA. The 2003? Is it 2003? I forgot. Um or 2005 or 2004, I can't remember. The 2000s uh FMA and I read the whole manga, but I never finished Brotherhood. So, I probably need to get to it. I was watching the dub for FMA Brotherhood, though. I was watching that. Yeah, I watched three seasons of it. Fairy tale. <laughs> I will, okay. <sighs> be nice, be nice, be nice. Uh, I watched like the first 50 episodes of Fairy Tail, and um, things got redundant after a while when like it was the same cycle of recipe every arc. It was. New guys appear, they're stronger, they beat your ass, power, friendship, beat them, move on, next arc. New guys, they beat your ass, power, friendship, beat them, uh, move on, and then next arc. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. <clears throat> uh, etchy, etchy, new guys show up, they beat your ass, power, friendship, move on, next arc. I forgot about that part, my bad, sorry guys. Um, but that's, that's just my opinion though. That's just my opinion. And I was like, yep, I'm I'm bored of it. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> I'll watch something else. I think I'm just not not the right person to watch this. I watched everything and I agree. Did it get worse with the booba? Quick question. I stopped watching like maybe 50 or 80 episodes in. Did the booba stuff get worse in uh in fairy tale after? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Kinda. Uh Black Clover, I watched like 20 episodes of that and I don't know why, but I could not get into it. The premise was interesting, and then I got like, I don't know. I was like 20 episodes into it, and I was like, man, I don't want to keep going. I I don't have the motivation to uh to keep going. Because of Asta? No, Asta's like your typical protagonist. He's like Naruto, but with the sword. Um, I didn't get like, it was fine. I guess it's like the, um, like f the fights in the anime are not that interesting to me. Um, it's a lot of like ranged people cause they cast spells. Like I understand like maybe I'm weird for that one, but I like fist to fist kind of fights. So, and watching like people just casting spells all the time, like, uh, like ranged at all times, shooting like spells all the time. I was like, this is kind of not the same. I don't know. Never really got into it. Underrated anime you like, Kim. 
underrated. Underrated anime. I'm trying to think of one. Something that I think is underrated that should get more love. Um, I'm trying to think of one. I can't think of one. Oh, um, Afro Samurai. I think not enough people talk about Afro Samurai. That is such a good anime. I I hear nobody talk about Afro Samurai. It's actually so good. It's it's good. Good character design. Afro Samurai is such a very interesting art style. Yeah, that's a good one. I hear nobody talk about Afro Samurai. If you like uh, dark stuff, like um, it's a very Western anime. It's very Western, and if I highly recommend if you watch it, you should watch the dub for Afro Samurai. The dub is great. It's really good. If I'm not mistaken, um, yeah, it's Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, doesn't uh, doesn't Samuel L. Jackson play the protagonist? If I remember correctly. Yeah, nah, he's great. It's good. I guess I'll say the premise. Um, it's not spoilers, by the way. This is literally the premise of the show. Um, so Afro Samurai is about this guy um, who is trying to avenge his father that was killed um, because they live in the world where strength is um, compared by whoever wears um, a bandana of a certain number. If I remember correctly, so if you're wearing if you're wearing the the headband with the number one on it, then you're the strongest. If you're wearing the bandana with the number two, you're the second strongest. Number four, fourth strongest, and so on. And then people try to get the number one to be number one strongest one, but in order to get number one, you have to kill the person that has the number one headband, and so on. So. Uh, the protagonist's dad gets killed by a guy, and I'm pretty sure his dad was like, uh, I forgot what number he was, but his dad was someone holding a headband, right? That had a certain number on it, so the person that killed his dad became that person, and I'm pretty sure, again, not a spoiler, I'm pretty sure the, the antagonist is number one, so it's like a revenge story to get to number one. To avenge his father. I like how we're talking about anime and someone says Squid Game. <laughs> Not an anime. Sounds cool. It's great. Uh, if you like um gore, uh, not oh, it is kind of gory. Um, more graphic, serious anime. Uh, I would recommend Afro Samurai. If you like dark stuff, it's great. It's actually really good. Favorite comedy anime? Psyche Kuso. Probably. Death Parade? I watched Death Parade. It's good. Um, it's good. It's good. I like the thrill of it. It's a very thrill. Like It, get, it keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time. It's so interesting. Do you guys know Light Yagami is in there? <laughs> you guys probably know that. Apparently, Light Yagami shows up in Death Parade. He's in there as like an Easter egg. I don't know if you knew that. I think it's a pretty well-known thing. Yeah, he has, like, he has like a cameo. Yeah, remember? Yeah, again, without spoiling. But he, he is there. That's interesting. He sure did. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's actually pretty crazy. Never watched Blue Exorcist. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Which do you prefer, anime, manga, or both? Uh, 
I I'm reading one manga right now. Uh, compared to like, whenever interesting shows come up, I watch like three, two or three. Like um, last autumn. Like last autumn, I was watching One Punch Man. Oh, sorry, not One Punch Man. I was watching Mob Psycho, Chainsaw Man, Spy Family. All three at the same time. It was crazy. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is there an anime movie? Um. Is it messed up if I say Gurren Lagan? <laughs> the movies? If I could, I would say Gurren the Gurren Lagan movies, but um, if that doesn't count, uh, then uh, probably it counts. Uh. No, that's fair. Okay, then Gurren Lagan movies. The trilogy? Oh no, sorry, not the trilogy. Um, the two movies. Never watch B stars. I'm not a furry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dr. Stone? Yeah, I love Dr. Stone. I mean, no, uh, I, I finished it. Akira never watched Akira. No. Never watched it. Maggie never watched it. I'm kidding, guys. I'm sure, I'm sure Beastars is good. I just never felt the need to watch it. Is Dr. Stone good? If you like science, science classes, yeah. If you like uh, playing Civilization and you like science classes, yeah, you'll like it. <laughs> One Piece? Uh, I said this before. All my friends are like really into One Piece. Like, all of my friends. All of my friends are like hardcore One Piece fan, and I'm the only one that doesn't watch it. But I've heard so much. From my friends talking about One Piece, I think I know pretty much the basics of One Piece. I felt like I watched it without actually watching it. Oh yeah, Wilson, the world government and the the fish people and 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 gears and 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 uh, and Luffy and the uh, black beard and white beard and and uh, and Ace and 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 all of that. I was like, oh. I was like, yep, I know everything. Uh, I know everything. I now know everything. Without actually watching it. What do you convert what do you consider a comfort anime? Something that is not necessarily watched for being good, but more like, ah, this puts me in a good mood. Like for me, um, well, I'm not saying it's bad, but for me, Kaguya was a comfort anime. It's more like I watch it because it's comforting. I don't watch it because I think it's like, wow, the storytelling is crazy. Wow, 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 you know? For me, that's a comfort anime. Kinda. I watch because it's cute. Kinda. I thought you were gonna say Grin Logan. No, Grin Logan is not a comfort anime. Oh my god, quite the opposite. Grin Logan makes you sad. At a certain point. Your comfort anime is Dunter Dunter? No way. Really? D X D? No way. <gasps> it cups. No shot. Any sports anime you like? Never got into them. Mm -mm 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 That's a different convert. I, uh, I agree. That is a different convert anime. Famous anime that you di that you hate. I don't hate a single anime, as far as I'm aware. That's really really popular or famous. I've I've never like hated an anime, as far as I'm aware. I've just like been like, wow, I I can't get into this. Uh, it's not bad, but. I can't get into it. I've never hated an anime, believe it or not. You just roasted fairy tale. I said I got tired of the recipe cycle, but I never said it was necessarily bad. 
I just said it wasn't for me, you know? I just said, you know what? I don't think this is very much for me. Okay, sure. Maybe I should have said nothing. Maybe I should have said nothing. Have you ever watched a BL anime? <laughs> Does free count? Does free actually count? I watched like three episodes of that or something. Yes. <laughs> we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Naruto is not BL. <laughs> You're silly. Oh my god. MC Banana Fish? Nope. Ah, yes it is. Maybe for some of you. I feel like we can all enjoy an anime in our own way, you know? Maybe you guys can enjoy an anime when you you want it to be BL. That's fine. You guys do what you want. Maybe, like, I don't know about you, but when I watched Code Geass, I loved it for the, the world building, the character development, the, the thrill... You know, the excitement of like what's gonna happen. Or maybe some of you were like, Oh my god, Lelouch and Suzaku are so made for each other. Oh my god. I don't know. M maybe we had like a different experience watching it, but... You know? Maybe, maybe we watched it for different reasons. Have you seen Tiger and Bunny? Yeah, I did. Wait, that's actually so insane that you're mentioning Tiger and Bunny. Yeah. I watched like almost the entire thing. That's another underrated anime right there. Oh my god, you completely made me remember about that. Yeah, that's another good... Actually, they're heroes too. If I remember correctly, right? Any guilty pleasure anime? Monster Muzume. I'm sorry. <coughs> Wait, who said that? <clears throat> who said that? I didn't say that. <laughs> that that's a guilty one. That's a really guilty one. I'll be honest though, believe it or not. Ah, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're, okay, never mind. It's probably, it's probably better if I save myself from saying it, but I'll say it anyway. I know nobody's gonna trust me on that, but I preferred the cute moments in that, in that show. Yep. I know you're gonna be like, wow, Wilson, you're, f yeah, sure, sure. I know. I know, I know, I know. I know. You know, you know what like what was my highlight though? When Metal Gear Solid 5 came out, they just randomly on the day it came out, the game came out, the episode that aired that day, they were like, let's just put a Metal Gear reference in there. I don't know why, but they didn't need to do that, but they did. I remember that so well. Word? Yeah. yeah that's probably my biggest guilty one for sure. Yeah, I, I'm being honest with you guys. That that is my guilty one. Longest anime you've watched? Uh, um, probably Hunter x Hunter. I don't know. Probably. Most likely. Have you watched Play Go Play Cool Guys? No, I've never heard of it until now. Kill a Kill, Kill a Kill. I've never watched. Um, I've watched a lot of Studio Trigger anime, and the only two I think I haven't watched is, um, Kill a Kill and the Cyberpunk one. 
Do you guys remember uh, Kids and Navier? I feel like uh, whenever I talk about Kids and Navier, people are like, huh? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Wait, what is that? I remember? Yeah, Kids and Navier I liked. That's such a throwback? Yeah! Yeah, Kids and Navier was pretty good. I enjoyed Kids and Navier. It was pretty cute though. I forgot the plot though. Can I can I say what the plot is? I don't think it's a spoiler, right? Basically, um, from what I remember, it's been a while. Um, it's like a group of friends or whatever, and they're all like connected emotionally and physically. So if someone feels sad, they suddenly like all start feeling sad or something. Or if someone's like hurt, they're all gonna be hurt or something like that. From what I remember, it's been a while though. It's been a while. So they're like all connected emotionally and physically. Sounds cursed? Ah, uh, yeah, it is. Like, especially when they start punching each other. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Was your favorite female character ever? I don't know if I'm basic for that, but, um... Uh, Hanji from uh, AOT. Maybe I'm basic for that, but I don't care. Uh, I don't care. Beishta. Wow. You're so real for this? She I don't know, she's fun. Just just fun to, to watch. Male, female slash famer, uh, f well, female slash male character ranking? But what do you mean? Like, uh, like my favorite female characters, my favorite male characters? I can't really name them. Um, that would take a while though. Maybe one day for a stream? Stream idea? Yeah, that sounds like a good stream idea, kind of. Little Witch Academia? No, never watched it. A tier list. Hmm, maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe. But if you want to know, my favorite male character... Hamina from Gurren Lagann. How, how expected from Wilson to say a Gurren Lagann character. How expected. No one could have guessed him. If you watch Oshinoko, everyone's telling me to watch it. Including Vizalis. We son, I really think you should watch Oshinoko, it's very good. And I was like, maybe. Maybe I'll watch it. Maybe. Tokyo Revengers, I watched like, um, up to season two, uh, and someone that, someone that, um, finished the manga for Tokyo Revengers, I'm not gonna say what it is because I actually don't know what the ending is, but the person that I know that finished the manga told me the ending sucks. So I was like, uh, okay. They were like, don't finish it. It's not worth it. And I was like, all right. I won't, so, uh, I don't know what the ending is, I have no idea. So I, 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 I can't spoil because I don't know what it is, but I was told, yeah, it's pretty bad. So I, I have no idea. <laughs> Promise Neverland? <clears throat> Only season one. There is nothing that goes further after season one. The Promised Neverland ends after season one. There's nothing after. It's good. It's good. <laughs> good. Steins Gate. Steins Gate is so good. 
Steins Gate is so good. I've watched Steins Gate like three times. Uh, I've watched Steins Gate Zero once though, but I watched the original Steins Gate three times. Steins Gate is so good. Steins Gate is in my top three. Easily. It's so good. If you haven't watched Steins Gate and you like, um, drama slash like sci-fi slash thriller with good character development in a very very good setting watch or play Steins Gate Steins Gate is a visual novel but they turn it into an anime and the anime is very 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 good because I feel um it's um it's it's valid to watch the anime as much as playing the game. Obviously, the game will have more content because it's a visual novel, but the anime is still very, 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 very good. Very good. Have you played the visual novel? No, I never did. I will one day. I will actually play it one day. I never got the time to do it. To be honest, it's very hard for me to play a visual novel. It's really hard to find the motivation to play one. But at some point, I will. At some point. I will play it. It's long. That's what I mean, yeah. But yeah, it's good. I, I love... I love... Steins Gate very much. It's a special place in my heart. No Game of Life? I sure did watch season one of that. That's all I'm gonna say. Good opening. Uh, I, I like the colors a lot. Um, yeah. I like the colors. It's pretty good. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Oh, did you got a second season? Um... I am not speaking from a position of truth. I am speaking from a position of what I've heard. Um... I've heard that... There's been some uh, unfortunate circumstances that occurred regarding the author of No Game No Life that um, made it very difficult for further expansions upon the the art. I am speaking from an outside perspective just from hearing things, I'm not speaking from truth or factual evidence. That is just what I heard. So, yeah, uh, I can't say, I can't say anything, but if you know, you know, if you don't know, uh, no idea, uh, uh, yep. <clears throat> anyway, anyway. Just from what I heard, though. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 You're an ice. Uh, that's considered a sports anime, right? I, I can't get into sports anime at all. Like, I could, I could try my hardest. I don't think I could ever like get into it. There's something about it that I, I don't know. I just don't find the motivation to watch sports anime. It's not very sporty. How come? I don't know. Like, whenever people are like, oh man, I love Blue Lock. <gasps> I love HQ. Man, I love Kuroko no Basket so much. I'm like, yeah, I'm sure they're great, but I feel like me personally, I would rather just watch regular sport over watching a sports anime. I don't know why. I guess I watch anime for like, um, fantasy. If anything, or like, um, or something like that. I don't know why, but I, I just can't. Uh, I, I, yeah, I can't. Not saying it's bad, though.
You don't like sports anime because you don't touch grass, Mr. VTuber? Anyway. Anyway. Moving on. Obari no Seraph, I watch that. It sure is Vampire Attack on Titan. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. You know I'm right. <laughs> it it really is. That's the best way to describe it. It's it's uh it's Attack on Titan with um with vampires and uh <clears throat> heavy um uh relationships uh Writing? That's the best way I can describe it. You know? It, it, it really is not. <laughs> Vampire Knight, oh my god. Are you talking about that because I mentioned it during the, um, the Town of Salem collab? Is that why? Yeah, that one is interesting. Um, that one is interesting. Like, at first you're like, oh, it's a cute uh, shoujo anime. Wow. Wow, there's there's hot there's hot characters in this. Wowee. And then you get, you get near the end and you're like, And it just, it just overrides everything. <clears throat> that's, yep, that's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> Without spoiling, of course. But if you know, you know. Right? If you know, you know. <laughs> uh... Uh, ça va, tu aimes BL? J'aime Sasaki and Miyano at uh, 8TGCF. Oh, thank you very much for the shoe pop. It says, you're doing good. You like BL. I love Sasaki and Miyano. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I've never heard of it. I apologize in advance if I, if I, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, uh, you know, uninformed. It's BL. Um, I, um, <clears throat> I've never really watched BL, to be honest with you guys. I think the, the strongest, like, the closest thing to BL I've ever watched was, uh, was, uh, Owari no Seraph, but that, that's about it. That, that's about it. That was probably the closest thing to that I've ever watched. Uh, yep. What do you mean you love Kogias? Kogias is not even close to that. Are you kidding me? Kogias is not even close to that. Kogias does not do like BL stuff. Barely. You know I'm right. How do I say that? I, I wanna I wanna say like examples so badly, but I can't without spoiling. It's so hard to say them without spoiling. It has a heavy on No it does not. Like sure, already no setup, I'll give it to you. Strong, 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 strong roots in there. But Kogius? I I don't know. I've never felt ever anything. It's okay to admit you're wrong, Wilson. No. No. Hmm. 
Full Alchemist? Yeah, I love Full Alchemist. I watched the original and I read the entire manga. That's about it. I do like it a lot. Your top three? Grin Lagan. Hunter Hunter. It's so hard, the third one. It's definitely Grin Lagan, Hunter Hunter, and probably... Probably Steins Gate. Yeah, Steins Gate. No, not DXT. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's that. Grin Lagan, Hunter Hunter, Steins Gate. Those are my top three for sure. Most likely. Sometimes I change my top three. Like it's always Grin Lagan, Hunter Hunter, and then something else. Sometimes I change my mind. I'm like, hmm. Maybe, maybe I like ReZero more. And it's like, nope, maybe I like JoJo more today. Mm, maybe it's, maybe it's that one. But it's always my top five. I just switch like around the number three sometimes, but. Sometimes. You like Isoka? He, um, he's a character. He is a character. And Hunter Hunter. Yep. Yeah, he, uh, he has cool fights sometimes and his fights are cool. Yep. And that's about it. <laughs> Yep. Uh, I don't think he's he's I don't think he's even close to being my favorite character, but he he sure is interesting sometimes. Uh, favorite Hunter Hunter character Leo Riel, easy uh, Leo Riel, not even close. Well, actually, it is close. It's very close, but Leo Riel is my favorite Hunter Hunter character. Funny guy? Let me check. Where? Oh, you're right. Bam! Gotcha. Gotcha. No spamming. You should have known. You should read the chat rules. Favorite Jojo character and favorite stand? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, favorite Jojo character is Josuke. Josuke 4. <laughs> Not Josuke 8. Josuke 4. Um, favorite stand? That's a good question. I think I had a definitive answer before, but now I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'm basic for that. Okay, I might be super basic for this. Uh, probably Crazy Diamond. Uh, I'm I'm basic. I know. I said the protagonist stand. Oh no. Yeah, I think Crazy Diamond is really cool. I think it's such a cool power. It's very creative with um the way um you do things, you know, with Crazy Diamond. Breaking things, repairing them, breaking things, repairing them, you know, it's creative. I like it. Crazy Diamond is a really, a really good stand. Really, really good. Isekai anime? Uh, just ReZero. I mean, I've watched Konosuba, but... Ah, uh, okay, I'll say it. I mean this in a very good way. I feel like Konosuba fans are very, very outspoken. I think Konosuba is all right. It's all right. It's all right. I don't think it's insanely good. I think it's all right. I think people are very outspoken about it. I think it's all right. 
It's not bad. It's just alright. That's my personal opinion though, but... I know it's really, 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 really popular. I think it's aight. It's okay. <laughs> it's not bad. But, yeah. But ReZero for sure. ReZero is, uh... I really, really enjoyed ReZero. It's, it's, my, it's one of my favorites, actually. It's in my top 10, but... ReZero is very good. Definitely, without a doubt, the best isekai anime. Legitimately. Any shoujo anime? Um, I think I mentioned a few. Um, I, yeah, I mentioned a few today. A favorite in Rezio? You mean like a favorite character? Uh, again, I'm basic. Uh, Subaru. I know. Super basic answer. I'm so sorry, but he has the most character development. I can't help it. He's a flawed character with major character development. It's a recipe for a successful character. I'm sorry. It's just the perfect recipe for a good character. You have a character that has flaws, that goes through troubles and issues as he is trying to resolve his issues and his flaws, and over time he is growing as a character and changing gradually as he's doing things. How is that not a recipe for a good character? You know? Parasite the Maxim. I watched that entire one in a single day. That rarely happens when I watch an anime. I started watching it and I was like, wait, this is really good, what the hell? And I watched the entire thing in a single day. Yeah, I binged all of it. I was like, man, I'm, I'm so hooked on the story. I gotta find out more and more and more and more. Yeah, it's great. It's really good. It's really good. Very binge worthy. Oh yeah, it is for sure. Mm-mm-mm. Dongwa? Never heard of it. I hope I pronounced that correctly. I hope so. Golden Kamui? I hope I'm pronouncing that good too. Um, I heard a lot of things about it. I never watched it. Though I've heard so many things about it. So, so many things. Like a lot of things. Zam 100? That's another one I've been told to watch. A lot lately. A lot. Ranking of Kings, never heard of it. Devil Man Crybaby, that's another one I binged in a single day. What a trip then. You know what though? You know what's funny? Um, I watched Devil Man Crybaby before, and then I watched uh, Parasite the Maxim. And watching Parasite the Maxim, I was like, man, this really reminds me of uh, Devilman Crybaby a lot. Like, without spoiling, of course. It was like, wow, I'm, I'm getting the same vibe. Like, halfway through. If you know, you know what I'm talking about. Without spoiling, of course. It's like, wow, they're kind of similar, aren't they? Yeah. Man, what a, what an experience uh, watching Devilman Crybaby when it came out. That, that was an experience for sure. That was like, uh, very, very unique, yeah. Slice of Light anime? Uh, Kaguya. Like, uh, that's like the last one I watched recently, in quote recently. Uh, I don't really watch a lot of, uh, I've been watching less and less anime as, um, as time goes. Depends though. Did you guys hear my stomach just now? I hope you didn't hear that. 
You didn't hear that, right? Oh my god, that was the loudest. You did? I heard it. Oh, Azukashi. <laughs> uh, that was embarrassing. Are you hungry? Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Wow. That was, uh, that was like the loudest stomach noise. I didn't hear it, but I wanted to. That was, um, interesting. <laughs> You're so mean? How am I mean? How? How am I mean? Also, oh my god. <gasps> I gotta- Oh my god, time flies by so fast! I I'm going to be back on Vox's channel in like 30 minutes. Oh my god. Yeah, this day is packed today. Wow. It's alright. I'll, I'll leave like in maybe 20-ish uh, minutes. <gasps> minutes? So many chains, yeah. Already? That's right. Do you need to go? Nah, not for now. Thoughts on Bunny Girl Senpai? I uh, never watched it. I just know the ending song. Na 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 na. Whatever how it goes. I don't know anything about it. Slater, I. Whenever I whenever I talk about Slater, I cannot unsee Soul Eater not, and that like ruins it for me. You know? I keep thinking like, oh yeah, Soul Eater. I'm like, oh yeah, Soul Eater or not. Right. I remember that was a thing. Uh, right. That sure was interesting. I, I still don't know why. I still have no idea why that occurred, but it did. Thoughts on JoJo? It's JoJo. I'm kidding, I love JoJo. Um... What was I gonna talk about? I keep forgetting. My mind is like waking up still. Uh, sleeping for four hours. Uh, and my brain is like on cap- on coffee and uh, and adrenaline. Trying to think. Uh, what was I gonna talk about? Okay. It's another Wilson uh, talks about Hunter Hunter for like another 20 minutes straight. Uh, because he only cares about Hunter Hunter and nothing else apparently. Um, chat. What's your favorite... What's your favorite Nen and Hunter Hunter in terms of like power? What... What is like a Nen type or a Nen like um, someone's Nen you would use a lot or your favorite? You're like, wow, that's actually a really cool power. Uh, not a type, so, sorry, not a type. Kiroaz? Machi is sick, it is pretty good. Kiroa, Kurapika. Kurapika is just cool? Yeah, but Kurapika can only do something very specific without spoiling. Um, <clears throat> Without spoiling. Isoka. Kiro's kind of pog. It is very nice. 
For me, Kido is definitely my... In my top three, for sure. Like, man, that'd be a cool one. Gun. Mm. Gun is very simple, but it's very good. Krilla. Mm. Jing. Oh, yeah, in the manga... It Oh fuck, it's so hard to say without spoiling. I will not spoil. But yeah, Jinx is very, very good. After reading the manga, I was like, wow, is Jinx Nen is so good. Like it's busted. I mean. It's it's actually busted. Without spoiling what it is, of course. You know it was like a net ability that only showed up once, but it's like it's the fact that it showed up only once that makes you think like, oh my god, it's so cool. You know who? Like, it only shows up once. That character using Nen, and it's so cool seeing them use it once, and you're like, wow, wow, really? That's their Nen? That's such a cool one. No, not Kite. Uh, Kite is cool, but... No, Leorio. Leorio's Nen is so out of nowhere. It's shown once. And it's it's like yeah. The goat. I don't know, I have Leorio's theme song playing in my head right now. True. Yeah, it Well that's spoiling, of course. Like that was crazy. The way it was shown and everything. You don't expect it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of it in the future. He has a cool ability. It was so funny. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, but who knows? Uh, also, in the contest, um, the, the, the succession contest arc, there's a lot of cool men shown. Like, like really cool men right now in this arc that makes me think like wow this is like crazy without getting into details of course like it's so hard to talk about it without spoiling can I say like can I talk about a new Nen type uh, is that fine or is that a spoiler can, can I talk about it it's fine it's like an established thing. I say you're good. It's fine. Hmm. Sure you can. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I guess spoiler. <laughs> if if you don't want to hear like a new Nen type in Hunter x Hunter in the manga, um, but it's, it's pretty much established apparently. Um, it's not. Apparently, like, every character was like, oh, oh, that? Oh, wow, I already knew about that. That was a thing, but, in, but, anyway. Um, in the Succession Contest arc, they introduce Nen Beasts. So, beasts that are made of Nen. And they're, they're pretty much, like, stands. They're JoJo stands, that's what they are. Like, literally. Nen Beasts are just JoJo stands. So it's, that's very interesting. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. It was really uh, interesting seeing that. They're very creepy too. Like they're they're disturbingly creepy. The the Nem beasts, I remember that. Yeah. Hmm. Depends on the person. Yeah, it's just like, it's like a manifestation of what kind of person you are. It's really creepy. Because some of them are like, kind of cute. And there's other like, um, princes. Where their Nen Beast is like, disturbing. Just, just horrible. Like an actual monster. So, yeah, pretty interesting. But anyway, I'm no one spoilers. Oh, in quote spoilers, but not really. It's a manifestation of the soul. <clears throat> I 
Favorite arc on Hunter? Definitely Camera Ants. Definitely. Yeah, no more spoiler. No more spoiler. Am I lagging? Uh, um, I don't think I'm lagging. Greed Island? Uh, Greed Island is my least favorite arc. Uh, I feel like Greed Island, uh, I'm not really into cards, right? Or card games or whatever. So, like, for me, Greed Island was like, eh. Greed Island was really eh. Not a, not my favorite. Definitely my least favorite one. It's still good, but... Yeah, Greed Island was like filler for me a little bit. Not really. A little bit. Dodgeball is great. Yeah, yeah, I agree. There's good scenes in Greed Island. Like, Biscuit is great. The Dodgeball is great. Um, Some fights are great too. But... Yeah, everything else, like... I don't know. Everything else, like, uh, I wasn't big. I wasn't a big fan of the Greed Island arc. Not really. I heard so many people like give up on Hunter Hunter like around then too. And I'm like, no, bro, you gotta keep going. You're right. You're you're right before the camera ant. You gotta keep going. I know Greed Island is not that good, but please, you gotta get to Gre you gotta get to the camera ant. It's so good. You won't regret it. Every time. It's not that bad. I, I know it's not that bad, but it's more like, I don't know. Green Island, Green Island is like, eh, it's definitely my least favorite arc. What's your favorite part in Camera Ant? The last like 15 episodes of, of the Camera Ant are like insanely good. It's so hard to say without spoiling, but the, you know, the last couple, like, episodes of the Camera Ants arc is so good. Like, Camera Ant has, like, a very slow start. Um, like, actually, I'll be honest, Camera Ant does have a pacing issue, in my opinion. Right, that's, like, the one thing I'll say about Camera Ant. There's some, uh, there's some pacing issues sometimes here and there, especially at the beginning. Like, the beginning is long for Camera Ant. It feels like forever. But it pays off like crazy. Like crazy. So you're like, wow, that was worth it. At first you're like, man, this is taking forever. Gone. Why are you still like molding over nothing? Wow. It feels like nothing is happening. And then at the end it's like, boom. <clears throat> And then, like, it's crazy. It really pays off. Yeah, it's worth it. It's super worth it. It's amazing. Remember Vox Dream? Yeah, I will. Thank you very much. Uh, I will leave very, very soon. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Crazy? I was crazy once. Camera and arc was down light, down right side. It is like, it is the most messed up arc ever. It is legitimately like a horror, sad, tragic arc. Like, characters were scarred for life in the camera and arc. Legitimately. Like, Gun and Kirua? I don't think Gun and Kirua will ever recover emotionally from the camera and arc. Ever. They will never recover. What they saw, what they experienced in the camera ant arc, they will never recover. Ever. It scarred us too? Yeah. It changed everything. Yeah, it changed the trajectory of everyone's lives. Yeah, it did. Camera ant arc changed everything. Everything. I wish I could watch Hunter Hunter for the first time. Same. Same. I wish. Which is why I'm reading the manga and I'm having a blast. I'm really, really liking it. Hmm. 
How many seasons? Uh, it's not really seasons. It's like it's like a hundred fifty something episodes. The arc is the only thing keeping me from starting Hunter x Hunter. The character designs are creepy as someone who hates bugs. Mm, not really. It's like it's not just bugs. It's like cat, fairy, butterfly, dog, uh. A cheetah, uh, like octopus. It's like every animal ever. <laughs> Not just bugs. Oh, yeah, lion. I remember that. Eagle. There's a cat. There sure is. Isn't uh, isn't P2 uh a cat? P2 is a cat. Right? Or is P2 a dog? Yeah, Pichu's a dog. Uh, Pichu's a cat. Yeah, yeah. Man, that was satisfying. I can't talk about it, but that was satisfying. Oh my god. <laughs> if if you ever watch Hunter x Hunter, you get to that point, you'll rem remember these words. Oh, that was satisfying. So satisfying. Ah. Uh. That's all, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it is. It's satisfying. Favorite villain from Hunter Hunter? Um, I can't speak for the manga right now because I'm not done, but... Mm, no joke, I really like the, um, the fourth prince in um, Succession Contest. Whatever his name is, I keep forgetting. The fourth prince is so... He's scary. Um, he's really, really scary. I'm sure not a lot of people know what I'm talking about, but... Oh, him? Yeah, he is interesting. That's for sure. But if we're talking, like, anime, uh, Krolo, most likely. Most likely. However, however, dear chat, I'm very sorry, but I must go for now. Uh, there is a thing happening in 10 minutes, and I have some things to do before and preparing for everything. So I must go for now. Uh, I hope Mr. Akuma gave me permission for raiding, right? Let's see. I hope I have permission. I do. Okay, I'm going to raid uh, Mr. Akuma. I will be on his stream in like 10 minutes from now, not even. Uh... But, uh, yeah, thank you very much, chat. I should be there, like, literally in eight minutes, so, um... I won't even do an outro, because I will literally be right there in, like, eight minutes, but... Uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys very soon, okay? See you very, very soon. Bye-bye-bye-bye, okay? See you in, like, literally seven minutes. Love you, chat. Bye.